Hello and welcome to this unboxing of the Warhammer 40,000 like kind of limited edition Stormclaw uh, set. I am still here, I am making videos in the background, uh, you know, all kinds of videos. So, you know, st stay with me, stay with me on my channel and uh, you've got all those um, videos to look forward to. And if you haven't subscribed, do it now and then you, you'll get, um, you will you'll know about them and you'll you'll see them come up. I am lagging a little bit in my videos, I know that, but uh, I might have a break from it for a couple of weeks because I have been putting out basically four or more videos every single week for over a year and a half and uh, I don't get any money from YouTube, um, you know, it's not my main job or anything, so any time or money that it takes me is of course all my, my all of my own, uh, but I do it because I lo love it. And uh, but I just thought I'd make that point that I'll probably have a break in a couple of weeks, uh, well for for a couple of weeks. But I will keep you posted on when those two weeks will happen. Um, but I'll try and get some videos out during those two weeks, so it's not too much of a hassle. Anyway, back to the unboxing. So this is a Stormclaw using the CRKT Otanashino Ken. Um, it shouldn't really be a problem for this knife. Didn't want to risk cutting through that and through what's what's inside. Now there is something there that will shouldn't be or should be. Anyway, so here's the here's what you get: Stormclaw box. Uh, one of these will set you back 75 quid. It is a lot of money. I do think it's quite worth it though. It's quite thin, as you can see, the boxes. It's quite thin. You've got the Space Wolves and the Orcs, two armies clash in the 41st millennium. Uh, apparently, the Games Workshop are trying to push this. They're, they're trying to um, have it so that you've got... Uh, You've got some kind of like campaign release, some something like that. I, I don't know, but uh, yeah. Uh, tip it upside down, and you can see all the models inside. You've got. I don't know if you can see that very well because of the shine. But anyway, you got all the models. You've got space wolves, orcs. You've got knobs. You've got face ripper. All of those good good things. Uh, you've got a mini rule book and the campaign book. Uh, it actually says 32 page Stormcore campaign book, one Space Wolves, Dragon Crom, Dragon Gaze, uh, five Terminators, one Wolves Pack, um, which is 10 miniatures it says, one Warlord Grook Face Ripper, um, five Knobs, 10 Gretchen and one Runt Herd, three Killer Cans, and 208 page Warhammer 40,000 The Rules. So let's open this and have a little look. So initial impressions. It is quite well packed and first of all you have got the um, orc knobs on the top. Got all the knobs there, you got all the Ooze choppers, things like that. You got that little squig. You got these funky arms, spear hooks. Got lots of heads there for the knobs. I might use some of the mega armored knob heads though. So, and they're full models, so they're not snap fit. For 75 quid, you're essentially getting two ish armies. Um, I mean, I completely understand that orcs. You don't actually get any boys in this. You get Gretchen, uh, so you know you, you might have to do some kind of um, thing there where you, uh, you know, buy some more boys or something like that to to make a, you know a, an official kind of army. But oh well, I think that's that's quite decent. So that's that's that. Uh, one thing to mention, I think I did see it on another review, is it's got these. Um, It has these pictures of like models, so you've got all the different space wolves there, and um, got another wolf pack. You've got 
Thunderwolf Cavalry, uh, you've got Death Dread and Gazgul, uh, Mech, Big Mech, Mega Knobs, Flash Git, Sort Mech Gun. So you can see they've now started using the box space to advertise, which is interesting. I mean, they've always used the back space to advertise uh, in terms of paint, but they're now using the size of the box to put their, their products. Um, the one thing that might be a little bit wrong with that, I mean, I think it's a really cool idea, but the one thing that might be a little bit wrong is obviously some of the models might make it out of date. Anyway, uh, back to the unboxing. I might go off on tangents like this. Uh, so these are Space Wolves Terminators, uh, excellent, excellent models. Uh, I don't collect Space Wolves myself, so if you want these for free, I'll just send, give them away. No, I won't. Um, I'll probably just mod them, modify them, and uh, make them make them look like normal Space Marines somehow. But uh, anyway, so that's the Terminators. You've got the killer cans there. I'll make one pile for marines and one for orcs. They're the killer cans. So, like I said, it's not snap fit. You do actually get these, the full full set of models. You get, um, here we go. So you've got some of the wolf pack there. Uh, really cool shield. It's a really cool shield, that. It's awesome. And another set of them. So that's awesome. So uh, you get the bases for the killer cans, and you get the space marine bases. Uh, I think you get the knob bases and the terminator bases. Put them back in the box actually. And you get the grunts, or the Gretchen. There you go, and the grunt herd. So that's orcs. And you get Face Ripper himself, 2013. So made last year. All this seems made last year at some point. So imagine what other things they've made that might be coming out this year. Please be Sisters of Battle. And I got it for him. I mean, isn't he just cute? He's awesome. Yeah, excellent. And also the the Space Wolves uh, kind of captain or leader with a really nice axe. I don't know if you can see the detail on that. It's actually chipped. I think that is incredible. I've never seen anything with that much detail where they've... Not only do they have the item itself and the runes, but now they're actually putting the chips on it. That's remarkable. I love the base, it's really cool. Uh, yep, Space Wolves, Orcs. And then you get this as well. So you get the biggest transfer sheet in the whole entire planet. And then you get the rules and the campaign. So we will just uh, open this up slightly. Just have a little look. It's nice that they've got everything packaged in, in one rather than all loose because you know this is flimsy it's a flimsy little rule book but there you go exactly the same it's a bigger one just a mini mini version and I think they're doing a dark uh, vengeance re-release so I think they're putting that rule book in now so you've got your orcs space marines you've got a complete book each to make all of the models Right, got a book each, and then you've got the campaign supplement. Uh, you've got some rules, and you've got yeah, it's not it's not huge at all. It's like thirty three pages, but it's all right. I mean, you know, I suppose it will get people into the hobby. Oh, that's a cool picture. Look at that. That's awesome. I mean, it'll get people into the hobby. I mean, you know, you can go halves on this box set and. One of you can collect orcs and one of you can collect uh, space wolves and you've got your models. You just need obviously the clippers, the knife, the glue, uh, the mold line remover, the little brush, it, all the brushes, the paints, the spray, a board to play on, um, scenery, 
uh, measuring sticks. I mean, other than all of those things, you you know, you're, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, so, but I think it's incredible, 75 quid. Um, let me put it in perspective. The three killer cans in here, which you can buy in, in one box, uh, you know, three of them, that's, I think, £28. So, you know, for £47 more, you are getting, for £47, you're getting two special characters that you can only get in this box, I believe, so far. You're getting ten Space Marines for £47. I mean, ten Space Marines now, the new tactical ones, they, they set you back about 25 you're getting Terminators. Well, Terminators are 28 quid. You're getting Orc Knobs. I think they're about 15 or 20 quid. Um, you're getting the, the Gretchen. So, all in all, you're getting a, a lot of models here for the 75. Uh, it would be nice if it was cheaper, of course, but I think you're getting good value for money. Considering you're also, as well as all that plastic, you're also getting your campaign supplement and your rules. So, I think it's a bloody good deal that is the end of the unboxing uh, and kind of the review um, I mean I will do a second video once I've built all these up but this will probably take me a little while so the the video that shows all of these created and, and assembled um, might take a little while to come out but uh, I do thank you for your patience I hope this uh, unboxing has been useful to you in some way so you get to see all, how many things you actually get in the box and what you get and all the rest of it uh, thanks for watching today thanks for joining me the Emperor Protects